Hey, it's Glenn here from Alarm Guard Security. I just wanted to do a quick video on helping customers set up their motion detection and recording schedule for their uh, cameras, whether they're new cameras or whether they were just installed or whether you factory reset and now you wanted to reset everything, no problem. First thing we're going to do is basically go to alarm.com, www.alarm.com. What you're going to do is log in. You're going to log in basically with your email address or login name as well as your password. And that'll take you to the home screen, which is right here. So while you're at the home screen, what you want to do is you want to click on video. Okay, you're going to have live video on your uh, cameras, which is great. But you want to go to the settings tab. So we're going to click on settings. And then what you're going to do is you're going to click on the camera that you want to set up the motion first. So in this case, I've already got the outdoor camera set up. So I'm going to do the training room. And I'm going to scroll down. And I'm going to go to video motion detection. I'm going to click on that, and it's going to take me to um, the video motion section on the side where it's going to read the parameters of the camera, so you'll actually be able to see a footage of the camera. When this thing is turning, it's just basically reading the perimeter, so wait till it uh, finishes, and then you'll get a green outline in the box. Once that occurs, then we can proceed. There we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the first box, which is already set up. I do recommend with the sensitivity, um, setting up sensitivity anywhere from 6 to 7. Let's do 7. Object size anywhere from 10 to 20% is usually good, depending on the size of the box you're going to create. So what I'm going to do in this case, so as you can see in here, is you can see basically our training office. So uh, the only entry point uh, would be the door. So I'm going to put a box around the door. So if anybody comes in the door, it's going to record. And I'm going to save it. And now I'm just going to wait for the uh, message to come up to say that it was accepted. Ah, BMD perimeters were saved to the camera. So this is how you know it was perfect. Now, if you wanted to do another box, you would just click on the second one and then put another box around, do the same idea with this. We're done with that. I'm just going to do the one for now. And I'm going to go back to video. And now I'm going to set up the record, uh, recording rules. So basically what I said was, if anybody walks by here, I want it to record, but I didn't tell it when yet. So I'm going to click on recording rules. And then that's going to take me into a section where I can add a rule for that motion detection. So once it looks like I'm a little slow, I'm going to add a rule here. So I'm in recording rules, add the rule. We're going to go down to video motion detection, click on that. And then once it takes us in, we're going to select which camera. There we go. So we're going to select record a clip when this camera, which is the training room we just did, detects motion during this time. You can do it all times or you can do the following time. So you can set up each day if you want. Just click on it and then it'll kind of go through and you can put the times in. But I'm going to put it all times. The delay between camera triggers basically is self-explanatory. Uh, uh, instead of it triggering every time and then immediately when it stops triggering and it goes to the next one, you could say I don't want two clips to come in and you know uh, simultaneously I, I want like a 15 second delay or 30 or one minute but I'll keep none for now you could say hey don't don't record when the system is disarmed I'm home I don't want it to do but I'm gonna leave everything open so at this point if anybody walks by anytime it's gonna record and now this is important I want to add a recipient so in the event this does happen I want to say who gets notified so I'll just put myself on my email address because I've got it hooked up to my phone so now it's going to send me a message when it records and it's going to be text only or if I want to attach the video or a uh, thumbnail. But for now, the video will be uploaded to your account. You're going to save the rule. Once this rule is saved, then you've done and you've completed the motion and recording rule process. So we'll just wait for this uh, alarm.com to hit. Perfect. New, re uh, new recording rule has been added. Uh, that's it. You're done. So you can go back to the home page. And then the next time somebody walks by um, the door or opens the door in this section, I'm going to get a clip and I'm going to see it and it's going to be uh, saved under my saved clips on the website. Thank you very much. My name is Glenn from Alarm Guard Security. Have a great day.